go and see. Ooh, yeah. Wow, this is impressively quick. Oh my God. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro. In today's video, guys, I'm so excited to get behind the wheel of this 2021 Ram TRX. Wow, such an awesome truck they have here in front of me. It has been one of my dreams to get behind the wheel of one of these beauties here. Fantastic looking truck. And you know, just, just, an, just so awesome to have it here in front of me. Uh, this one that we have in front of us here is in a color called Granite Crystal Metallic, which is, you know, not the most exciting color that I would choose, but it's a very nice thing and it goes with the theme of this Ram T-Rex. As everybody knows, this is more of a, you know, kind of a regular Ram 1500 on steroids. This is just, you know, massive. Of course, we got the bigger stands. We got the huge, you know, the awesome off-road suspension, 35-inch tires on 18-inch wheels. And come around here, it's basically the same as a regular Ram truck. Dual exhaust, of course, you're towing. Uh, you know, this has got a permanent 4x4 system on it. Just a fantastic truck. You know, really, the Ram really took it to Ford because obviously everybody knows that if it wasn't for the Ford Raptor, we probably would not have a Ram T-Rex. So we got to think that Ford Raptor for the ability or, you know, for Ford creating that product or that specialty kind of market. Because, you know, the Ford uh, Raptor, I've really never had a, a competitor by, by far. You know, Chevy hasn't had anything, Toyota, Nissan, nor you know, Ram. So Ram kind of teased up the idea back in, I don't know, probably in the late 2017-18 and not until 2021 did that they bring us this first year Ram T-Rex. Now obviously this is uh, when it first came out, basically this is just a regular uh, Ram T-Rex. There was also the uh, launch edition, uh, but this one that we have with us is just a regular one with, uh, I think it was just a tier one package. So it's not nothing, it's not the most uh, option off truck or anything like that. But overall, we're here to experience the truck itself with it, with this, you know, 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 702 horsepower, and all of its glory here. T-Rex, and the so, only way that the T-Rex comes is in a crew cab. Uh, of course, I used, uh, if you checked out my channel, I just recently reviewed a 2022 Bighorn Ram 1500, and that was a quad cab, which is a much smaller uh, cab. Uh, but this one, the T-Rex just comes with your crew cab. So come around here, guys, we do have you know, the 35 inch, 325 millimeter tires. We'll check them out in a few moments. Coming here to the back of this Ram, it's just basically your regular uh, 5.7 foot bed. Uh, and this of course got a little different tow ratings. Uh, coming here guys, you can see this has already got your tow hitch already here. This uh, this Ram TRX tows 8,100 pounds. And this one can, uh, you can put in this bed. Of course you're gonna touch it here. We get the backup camera. Go ahead and get that done. We got a soft touch. You can put 1,300 pounds in this bed according to Dodge for this T-Rex. So on this one here, of course you got it. We have a, a spreading bed liner. If I'm correct, yes, this is a spreading bed liner. Uh, we do have some LED lights here on the side as well. I don't see any connections at all. I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, but of course you might have to option it up in the level two package, uh, but it's still a very nice looking and everything's covered, covered. And, uh, but obviously you don't buy this T-Rex to tow. Obviously you can't tow and all that stuff or to carry a lot of stuff, but. Uh, this is more of a fun truck off-road, so at least you can see we got an uh, aftermarket tonneau cover here, which is awesome, and uh, let's go ahead and lift this up, guys. So, really cool the way this Ram T-Rex is. Of course, you get your tow hooks and a huge exhaust here in the back, and it looks like we got a full spare uh, tire underneath here as well. So, as you can see, guys, we got a lot of functional things here. Of course, you got scoops here all over the place. Um, we got some extra lights, because obviously this is much, much wider than your regular Ram T-Rex. We got your, we got your side steps here as well. Massive engine yeah. here. We got the 6.2 liter supercharged engine. So we got a functional hood scoop here as well. So let some of that heat out of the engine. And as you can see guys here, we're checking out the little uh, in-wing lights here. The channels of air through the side here for more cooling and all that stuff. Of course, we got LED lights. We have LED fog lights. We have sensors here as well. More tow hooks here in the front. 
and uh, of course we got a mix of all this is all black besides the paint is not the paint color is basically all black plastic here that's all part of the ram and the way they did this we have a little bit of a more aluminum here in the bottom and of course we got some skid plates as well here on the bottom because obviously this is for main to off-road but a uh, really awesome looking and of course here you got your hood scoop as well for that you know suck in the air and you got the three lights that's required by the of course department of motor vehicle department of transportation i don't know which one it is but obviously that's for requirement because this thing is just so wide obviously this truck is much more wider i put the how much how much wider is more i think it's around six seven inches wider than the regular ram 1500 so um but it is a fantastic looking truck nonetheless guys and uh wow it's just so so unique all right so checking out what we have here for this ram t-rex uh which is just an awesome you know setup here that we have uh, we have of course reinforced steel frame with a b-flat suspension obviously we got Bilstein's active terrain shocks uh, we got remote the remote reservoir shocks uh, we give you over 13 inches of suspension travel and then go up to about 32 inches of water uh, you know obviously before risking the whole truck uh, of course we got an electronic uh, locking rear diff and uh, you know all kinds of fantastic ways you know you can tell the shocks right here are awesome so here we got good your Wrangler uh, all-terrain territory tires which are 35s these are 325 millimeter tires all around the same ones here and we got some pretty good size brakes uh the fronts are 14.9 inch rotors and the, the, the rears are 14.8 so um very very massive brakes as well we don't have any four pits and calipers so take you guys to check um going up to the front uh there is no huge you know brembo caliper no there's no huge brembo caliper on that they're pretty good massive sized rotors with just a huge massive single piston brake so i'm sure It'll be a, a good thing to modify this and put some nice uh, Brembo or AP brakes on this one as well. So you just need a lot of stopping power because obviously this is a, about a 6,000 pound vehicle. So there's no lightweight at all. So, but fantastic way that this is just tuned up for, for off-road and everything. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out this massive 6.2 liter supercharged engine that this Ram T-Rex has. So let's go ahead and check out this massive engine. I mean, at least we got some nice hydraulic assistance to race off the hood. Um, so alright guys, here we have the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. Uh, of course, this has got 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. Now, of course, all this goes to your 8-speed heavy-duty uh, automatic transmission. And of course, going to your all, your, basically your 4x4 system here. So we got the, a little bit of advanced system here for off-roading. And, you know, this is just a fantastically massive engine. Perfectly goes with this truck. Now, obviously, the gas mileage kind of suck here. You're looking at about... 10 miles per city and about 14 highways so you know obviously the 4 Raptor is a little bit better in, in terms of gas mileage but of course it does not have this fantastic power so of course you got here you got the t-rex uh logo here and of course if you look so guys if we lift this up here a little bit of course you can see that little awesome ram or t-rex eating a raptor which is a fantastic little detail that ram put on that is an awesome detail just racing up this little bit of a hood there but that is an awesome detail that uh ram put on this truck so it's a fantastic truck guys i mean obviously it's a lot of power and uh one of the best so obviously ford's gonna respond with their uh ford raptor r but just we'll see how that's gonna pan out how much it will be of a competition towards this t-rex and i'm assured ram might have another version of this coming up with some sort of special you know red eye t-rex or something like that that's gonna be coming out so but all right guys that's it that's for this power plant let's go ahead and put this hood down as you can see we got the intakes here for that so we got functional hood scoops and all that for you so um but fantastic engine nonetheless so all right let's take a quick glance at this rear space here of this t-rex so basically the same thing as a crew cab regular 1500 uh ram truck black leather that we have on this one which is awesome we got a bit of white stitching and it's perforated center armrest guys as you can see here which is awesome and of course the seats also go up as well on this model if we got some more storage space here as well see we got the ram uh we got some rubber floor mats here as you can see there which is awesome and i look there are definitely uh factory ones we got a ram here uh on the door sill and which is really cool i mean it's obviously it's a super spacious interior a little bit of alcantara here which is awesome we get a bit of a carbon fiber and a little more of that alcantara and a bit of leather so it's really i'm just going to guys and get in real quick here get a little bit of nice handle there awesome interior of this t-rex as you can see guys we got a little plaque here as well with some more alcantara suede down here of course we got ac outlets we got four usb connections for cna a 400 watt home connection which is awesome plenty of space here in the back extra pockets here then just you know phenomenal and of course this one has the panoramic sunroof as well which is a fantastic option using much more light so um but there we go guys pretty easy it's basically the same as the regular ram 1500s 
and uh awesome just the way yeah it's good you can tell it's got a little more of a quality materials and stuff in this one but of course you expect that from a much more higher price range truck so all right let's continue all right so let's go ahead and get into the driver's side of this t-rex uh coming over here guys of course the same as the rear soft leather here with a white stitch and we get a little bit of carbon fiber look uh run surrounding the door handle this the door handle itself is like a block chrome which is really nice a little a lot of nice details the filler feels really soft and uh, of course, we got a speaker right, so coming in here. We got a bit of RAM here, logo here on the door sill. Eight way power seats for this seats in the front here. This leather seats are feel fantastic. This leather feels so soft and it's perforated. And the, both of these front seats are heated. So, you have the T Rex embroidered here on the seat, which looks fantastic. And of course, we got some more Alcantara there and the leather seating, uh, the leather seating, the leather steering wheel as well, which is fantastic. And over here as well, we got that trim on top of the dash. And just a lot, of, a lot of awesome details. Of course, if this is a higher price model, you expect a little more quality or a little more better materials uh, for this truck. So of course, we got a manually adjustable and tilting telescope and steering wheel. Uh, of course, here we got adjusting pedals. As you can see, guys, here you can adjust the pedals to your liking. We got the parking brake on, and we have the hood release there as well. And here we got some light control. So not much, much left for that for that interior. So, but a fantastic interior, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in and check out this interior. All right, so here inside this Ram T-Rex's interior, obviously there are some more details uh, considering this is one of the top tier truck uh, for Ram. So we got, you know, a, a carbon fiber, we got, you know, the T-Rex logos all over the place. Uh, and of course we got the fantastic 12 inch screen here as well. We got another T-Rex logo here surrounding by the Alcantara, which is awesome. Feels fantastic. And, uh, but overall great, vis great visibility to this truck as i've always mentioned and of course with this panorama storm we use much gives you much more you know airy feeling to this cabin so all right let's go ahead and turn on this beast of a motor and get some air going guys Oof, yes That exhaust is intoxicating. Very similar to the sound of that uh, Charger Hellcat, and that Charger Hellcat Charger uh, Scat Pack that I drove. But of course, this has got the supercharger on it. So we got the T-Rex, all the important messages that we're gonna accept, of course. Let's go ahead, guys, and hear a little bit of uh, revs. Oof, yeah. Oh God, that is just horn to your ears so let's go ahead guys i'm gonna put on my seat belt so we can take this car on a drive since so obviously we're wasting gas here because this has got a pretty not, not too good of a gas mileage let's go ahead and close the door get a little bit more cool air inside and it's a pretty hot day today here in central florida uh what is our temperature it says 98 fahrenheit so yes it's pretty hot obviously it's a little hotter because obviously the road but it's we're at least at least at 85 degrees fahrenheit in the overall temperature but Getting back guys here, fantastic interior. Uh, I'm not gonna go over a lot. This is basically your you know regular T-Rex. Uh, but what else this T-Rex has? Obviously, this has got the this T-Rex here has the level one package, uh, which comes with heated seats, heated steering wheel, a little minor stuff. And you can also get the uh package two or the uh level two as well, which gives you the head-up display, all that kind of stuff. And then of course you were stepping up in 2021, you're stepping up then to the uh launch right. model all right, but guys, so checking out the rest of the interior of course we got this 12 inch screen which is fantastic we got all kinds of information your stereo your uh, navigation as you can see this is awesome to touch very quick uh of course you got your systems we got of course you can take a no phone connected so we do have a camera as well so if we go here to settings we can do our camera here as you can see guys uh we got a backup camera all kinds of different ways you can set up things um you got, you got your hazards all the controls here for your dual Sony CR here on the side. We got heated seats for both front seats and we got a heated steering wheel as well. So all kinds of great things that this T-Rex gives you. Of course, you got also auxiliary modes here for any accessories you want to connect. Kind of similar to Ford's thing that's up here actually. So if we come into the stereo, we got a 10, we got to check out, this is your volume control here. And it's got a pretty good system. We got a 10 speaker Alpine system. You can also add an optional thing as an 18 speaker system as well. Uh, that's part of the options. So we got the two control here, all kinds of great things that we have. Uh, of course, you got your four USB connections. We got a little more, uh, get my phone out of here. We got a little more storage here where you can put your phone as well here. But here you can put your phone 
plenty of space there for you you get eight speed automatic you got your uh, also some uh, water bottle holder there a little more storage spaces here as well and if we come here guys we do have more storage space and as you can see that detail there we got a regular or most of it's like a little graphics of a t-rex uh, sitting next to a, a ram t-rex and just the way this is fantastic little detail that the ram has added of course we got some more stuff here and we have another com connection here as well as you can see another 400 watt connection there which is fantastic and here in the middle i've got another usb yes the same as the other ram that i did to put your phones and stuff there which is fantastic of course we got that badge here as well with the alcantara fantastic interior love all the t-rex stuff here she got your glove box here we got your second glove box as well here uh, but just a great interior overall down here guys since we have of course all your controls for your 4x4 axle for high for low and then we have the modes here as well so as you can see guys we got snow we have uh, gravel all that kind of crazy stuff regular auto custom uh, we do have uh, mud sand and of course you can do all that kind of stuff as well rocks uh, but we're gonna just kind of leave it in regular i mean obviously i don't let's just see if we can do i believe there is a sport version of this and we'll put it on there um and i believe that turns on let's not do that so i'll just keep it on a regular on uh nope let's see if we can just do uh auto on it there we go we'll leave it on auto guys since it's not our truck we got you know this has been uh, loaned to us by barto for a big thank you and a shout out to them uh but uh overall great guys we got some pedals here as you can see we got really nice pedals here in the back and uh, they feel a little bit plastic but not too bad uh so obviously here we got all your controls here basically the same thing as all the ramps uh all your settings here for your messages and all kinds of things for audio and all that but we'll keep our uh, speedometer on the digital version of course beside our analog gauges um we got real articulation all kinds of cool cool uh you know all kinds of oil pressure but we'll keep the speedometer on here for for viewing purposes now as you can see guys this is a t-rex that has 12,650 miles so it's a slightly used one it's not really you know heavily used but it's still pretty much a brand new one as you can see there's no type of uh you know use or you can feel that it's, it's really really nice and well very well kept by the former owner uh fantastic truck and even still got a still we got the little paper here from the side that nobody's probably sent in the back but uh so yeah you got your sunroof here guys we got home link we got controls for your sunroof we can also have the window in the back as well oh no this is a sunroof i'm sorry so we can open up the sunroof and uh the vent and then we have the rear of course we got the rear window there as well so all kinds of controls everything's basically standard ram truck so but um all right let's go ahead guys and get out and test drive this girl let's go ahead and put this on driving in our high speed automatic going and um all right let's go ahead guys let's get some air going through here so we cool down our camera and uh, let's go ahead and give it a let's see if we can turn around and this parking lot see how the turning rear is well yeah you got yeah it's gonna take you quite a bit but it's not too bad not too bad considering this is a monster truck but uh this thing overall feels fantastic it's it is a massive truck for sure um you can definitely feel the no massive doubt. but it, um no same as it does a ram as a raptor as well it does feel high and also massive but wow this is just the the noise of the v8 is just oh man all right nobody here it's a pretty quiet here area and uh i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna wait for those guys to come here a little bit but if we punch in a little bit oh you can hear that supercharger whine which is just oh yeah perfect then we have a, a law enforcement gentleman here perfect so we're just gonna go and uh, we'll actually go ahead and go But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, a very easy truck to drive. Uh, you know, out of just the first my first impressions. Uh, of course, I'm familiar. I've driven a couple of Ram, at least I think three Ram trucks. So I'm familiar with the V8s, the diesel. Uh, but of course, it's having a huge, you know, 6.2 liter supercharged with 700 horsepower. And uh, all right, let me just make sure we're not. Cause this is a loud truck. We're here in a sort of a commercial, you know, uh, medical zone. I'm not gonna, but. oh yeah oh man wow this thing is just hauls butt let's check out the brakes uh the brakes yeah they, they got some confidence but you can tell you can just feel the weight of this truck i mean 
the, the power is fantastic uh, for sure and uh, but obviously this this is where it shines you know this is meant for off-road you know for good high-speed off-road and that's what this car this this truck is basically a, you know engineered for uh, but it does feel pretty I mean the suspension is this is the car the truck feels stable but yeah it just feels massive and it just feels it's like a Baja truck to be honest I mean I've never driven a Baja truck I have driven I haven't put on the channel but I did get to drive a 2017 Raptor uh, that I lost the footage of I only had a little bit left and I really there's nothing I can do with it but I did test drive that see that a Raptor but uh, this just feels completely different the VA just feels fantastic um, Wow uh, but the rest of it is just like a regular Ram uh, but I really love this thing. Oh man, we got some trucks going in, man. Yeah, this thing is just awesome. Man, I'm just too much traffic. I can't believe it. We're going to have to divvy it up, guys, a little bit here. But uh, overall, this thing, you know, it's, it is massive. It is, um, you know, but it just, you know, it definitely take, feels, you can just feel it take the whole width of the lane, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, very comfortable. Obviously, this is, you know, obviously for, for everyday driving, unless you own a refinery, an oil refinery, uh, this is, you know, 8, I would say 8 to 10, 12 miles to the gallon, if you're lucky on the city, um, especially with the heat and all that stuff here. This is going to suck. Obviously, you can tell uh, the, the gas tank is got, you're about, you know, three-fourths finished, and it's only got 69 miles to go. But... Oh man, that wine is beautiful. Oh yeah, that does not get old. No, sir. Wow, this is just, oh man, this just feels fantastic. You know, this is what America's all about with this huge truck. Uh, this awesome, awesome T-Rex. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it is quick. I mean, obviously it's super hot today, so I'm sure the engine's stacking a little, you know, a little bit of a heat soak, but still feels very quick i'm sure we're done a little bit of some 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 pounds but um fantastic feeling truck overall to be honest so yeah this thing just flies this thing just got some good power and the sun is fantastic it's not crazily overlaid i love the exhaust this is perfect um wow yeah just an amazing truck and everything else is just the same you know of all of your base as every other ram truck um, you know, I've been a big fan of this truck ever since it came out. Obviously, yeah, if you guys know, this truck has been, you know, pretty creative with uh, my other YouTuber colleagues, uh, especially, you know, Street Speed 717, which, you know, uh, flew one of these off at a pretty good angle, <laughs> pretty good speed, and uh, killed the poor thing. And those are good videos, but obviously, feel sad. You know, this is a lot of trucks. And, uh, but man, let's go and see. Ooh, yeah wow just impressively quick <laughs> oh my god obviously the brakes the brakes yeah the, the truck squats obviously this is you know an off-road suspension that's kind of a normal thing but uh wow this thing is just crazy this is just impressive how quick this thing is for the mass it is but uh overall let me see how this thing handles yeah this thing feels like a Obviously, you know, I've never driven a Baja truck or anything that's different. I took the, the Raptor. Um, yeah, this thing does feel massive. I mean, it's just feel the way it's like a semi. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's massive. It'll be fun though. It is, it's got some control and it's got fantastic suspension. But um, overall, yeah, the brakes, I mean, the brakes aren't too bad. I mean, definitely can use something a little bit better pad. But um, let's give it a little bit of a floor here. Yeah, it's quick. It's definitely quick. Now, obviously, I've driven a lot of EcoBoost engines. This is obviously in terms of in the little cool weather and all that. Yeah, this will have more power. And obviously, at, at you know higher speed, this will definitely will leave the Raptor. But the Raptor, it's not that I don't I don't you know it doesn't feel that slower to me. Even those EcoBoost motors feel probably just as quick as this. Obviously, this truck is massive, so um, you can't uh, blame. It's just a massive truck, but it's a fantastic truck nonetheless. I mean, it's just fast. I'm sure this. I mean, unfortunately, I can't take it off road. There's for me nowhere to take it off road here. Unfortunately, there's not much of it's like grass and pretty pretty boring areas. But uh, fantastic truck. 
uh, fast. It's just looks. I mean, yeah, I'm sure this thing has got a lot of capabilities. Um, I really like it. I really do. And it's got, you know, the steering is pretty decently nice, considering you got a really fast, really tall suspension uh, and 35s on it. So um, let's put a neutral here. But, but wow, great truck. I mean, I love this thing. Just a fantastic, fantastic truck. Uh, in terms of everything else, I haven't used the paddles at all. Uh, and of course, we got. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's, let's see if we can put this on sport. Um, let's see if we can. It's got traction off. We'll see how this thing is. See if it feels a little bit different. Uh, heading back to our our spot. To be honest with you, I do like the interiors, uh, the design layout of the dash layout of this Rams. Um, even the brand new Ford F one fifty is still not bad. I mean, between Ram and this, and of course Chevy just came out with the ZR two. Uh, you know, that's a fantastic truck. I did a, did a quick video on that as well when I was at Sebring. Uh, obviously, I don't think the ZR two has got the motor, or it's not as as I would say as extreme as this T Rex and the Raptor, but. Um, but yeah, this still feels, this thing still feels fantastic. Yeah, you can tell it's just a heavy truck, but. Yeah, it's just, just how good thing is go. This thing is just quick. It's wow, impressive truck, very impressive truck. Um, my kudos to the Ram. It's just a, just a monster and uh, wow. Definitely, this is the kind of, you know, this is the best feeling. If you're, uh, you know, stadium truck guy, one of those, you know, Baja trucks that run the Waha 1000, this is probably the closest thing you got. This is a Raptor, of course, but the V8 just makes it that much more special because the V8 has just got that oral, you know, the noise that V8 makes. It just makes it that much more pleasurable. You know, it's just, so the V8 has just got no, yeah, it's got no, um, there we can go. The V8 has just got no, re no replacement for the noise and displacement, as they say, so, um, Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, thank you so much to Barto 4 for allowing me some time in this. Um, of course, we're coming here to a little quieter place, uh, but man, this thing is just awesome. Now, see, we got, we can probably use the paddles now that I see we're in sport, but uh, wow, this thing just feels aggressive. It feels, I mean, obviously, yeah. Taking this thing off-road is, uh, it's probably its prime area. Um, not for every day here and just regular roads. Yeah, it's a lot of truck and it's quick, but um, man. I can just imagine. Now, of course, you know, I do follow Street Speed 717. He supercharges thing. It's going to be just crazy quick. And this truck, it just feels so massive. So, um. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do a quick check of the reverse camera. You see, if we, can, if, we, if, we, if we get into, you know, if we just climb this little sidewalk there. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just easy to do. I mean, it just doesn't even feel. It's like a bump. So... Let's go ahead guys and check out the rear view camera. So as you can see, we got really nice graphics to the camera. Um, of course, we do have sensors and all that stuff. Let me see if the sensors come on, because this is a pretty tall truck and that's a small, yeah, it does. There's the sensors. There's no other controls for the camera, uh, but this does not have any, any 360 as well or anything like that either. You can just uh, zoom into your hitch and that's about it. But uh, still a fantastic, fantastic, and there's your controls for your heated seats and all that. But guys, fantastic truck. Uh, once again, thank you to Barto Ford. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, pretty semi-quick tour. I didn't want to give you a boring of every detail, uh, but this thing is just, you know, massive. And I'm hoping I can get my hands on one or later one and maybe go up somewhere in up north in the States and or somewhere in the, really test this out in off-road. That's when one of my dreams as well. Or with um, my friend um, Ben Hardy that goes up in Utah. He has all these trucks. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for uh, watching. Thanks so much for all that has subscribed. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.